They still lived in caves. How dare you speak to me like that? <laughs> Wait till I tell your father. <laughs> what do you think he'll do? He's altogether too soft with you, young lady. <laughs> if you had more control over the girl. Daddy, it isn't fair. If you showed a bit more gumption. Daddy, she won't let me wear this dress. Do you think she respects you? My special dress. I bought it for Elizabeth's party. Do you think she loves you more because you're soft with her? to her like a father should, well then, I shouldn't have to all the time try and knock some sense into her head. There's not a lot wrong with the girl, as far as I can see. How far can you see? But if you didn't go on at her the whole time... If I didn't, who would? She'll learn. Give it a bit of time. Do nothing. That isn't what I meant. Take the easy way. She has to make her own mistakes. A fat lot of help she'll get from you when she does. Is it? What's the matter? <laughs> I thought I heard you crying. I thought there's something wrong. Now, what is it? You can tell me. I'm frightened, Dad. I'm so frightened. What you say, frightened, lovey? Frightened of what? <laughs> What'll happen? Oh, Dad. Here now, look, what is it, lovely? You best tell me it can't be all that bad. Surely. I want to tell you, I want to. Well, come on, then. Take a big breath. <laughs> when he said... I mean, I knew he'd want... To... Oh, well, it isn't so terrible, is it? What? Letting someone kiss you, that isn't so terrible, is it? No, of course it isn't. No, it isn't, but... <laughs> My goodness, is that what all this fuss is about? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't be crying if... Terry, what has happened? Uh, I didn't know, Dad. He said just... Why did Toby die? I didn't know. I, I didn't want him to die. 
Well, everyone has to die sometime, Poppet. Even little dogs, dear little dogs like Toby. Everyone? And go to heaven. Will Alan die? And live with God. W will Mummy die? Um, happily ever after. Will you die? Well, not for a long time yet, Poppet. Will you die? Now, that's enough talk about people and dying. Let's talk... Will you? When I'm very old. Very, very old. Toby wasn't old. He didn't tell me what would happen. He didn't tell me anything. You stupid fool! He caught hold of me. Who was it? Oh, what difference does that make? What difference? It makes a great deal of He's difference. He's all right. Who was it? Kelly, I want to know who it was and you're oh, going to tell me. He hurt me. Jimmy Evans? Was it that no. you? Peter, was it Peter Chris? Listen to me. Tell me who it was. I won't. Mother, the girl's in no state. All right, then. Suppose she's pregnant. Well, she isn't. She can't be. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. It would... Only I... We'll have to know then. He hurt me. Tell me who it was. Why does it rain? Well, the flowers get thirsty and then it rains and they drink the rain. A flower hasn't got a mouth. How can a flower drink if it hasn't got a mouth? No, it doesn't need a mouth. The rain falls on the ground. Got a mouth. And soaks into the ground. Why does it snow? In the winter, when the flowers go to sleep, the snow keeps them warm. The snow's cold. How can it keep the flowers warm if it's cold? I didn't want to tell you. Ah, snow feels cold, yes. But underneath... Dad made me tell you. A secret. Did you think, honestly, you could keep it a secret, you and your father? I didn't want to tell you. Six of one love and half a dozen, he'd have told me anyway. Dad? Your father tells me everything. You remember Gordon Lester? Dad? Oh, sorry, Alan, what did you say? Gordon. Yes, of course, Gordon, of course, I remember Gordon. Went to school with Alan, isn't that right? Yes, Mr. Stevens, that's right. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you again. <clears throat> You're looking very well. Oh, I can't complain. <laughs> Time hangs a bit heavy, of course. Uh, retired now. Ah. Mm. Uh, Dad, I was wondering... What is it, Alan? Um, I'm helping Mum with the table. Huh? I thought you might like to talk to Gordon. Yes, of course I would. What do you mean? Well, I help Mum. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll leave Gordon with you. Yes. Yes. Will you have a cigarette? Oh, no, I have one of mine. No, 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 nonsense. <laughs> See you. Hey, what are you two boys grinning oh, at? You don't miss much, do you? <laughs> you're a young scallywag off and go and help your mother. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. I won't be long. I'll be all right. He's a good boy. No, it's all right. I got a light. Well, don't worry, Mr. Stevens. No, I've got no, a match. no, no. It's here somewhere. I know I've got it. Ah. Mm. Thanks. Mm. He's very popular, Alan. Is he? Yes. Well, he's a good boy. I don't know what we do without him. He's the life and soul of the old boys. Yes, I believe. Well, sit down, Gordon. Make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Now, what are you two up to, you two boys? <laughs> Final arrangements for the dinner. Oh, yes. Annual old boys dinner. It's not too hot for you. What? The... Uh... No, no, not at all. Uh, well, I could switch off the... No, it's fine, really. I feel it a bit cold these days. It's been a terrible winter. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not so young now, you know, and if I go to sleep, and I do go to sleep in the afternoons, I need a rest. Yeah. Oh. Well, perhaps I'd better wait for Alan. No, no, nonsense. If I'm disturbing you. No, it makes a nice change having someone to talk to. If you're quite sure. The old boy's dinner, huh? You'd never believe how much organisation it takes. Does it, yes. If it wasn't for Alan. Oh, he's always been popular. Mm -hmm. You used to have one of these bicycles, wasn't it, you, with drop handlebars? Did I? Oh, yes. yes. That's right. For pity's sake. Blue and silver. And it had, didn't it have one of those special sort of dynamos? Yes, it did. I remember. What a fantastic... He's just beside you. On the table. Oh, yes. Alan was always after me to buy him one like it. I must have sold that bike. When was it? 
15 years ago at least, at the very Gordon's least. Gordon's got one. I can hear him say that as if it were yesterday. I remember it now. Alan was always after me. Would I, would I let him ride it? Mm, why can't I have one? I never would. <laughs> You'll get through your exams, Alan, and then we'll see. My father used to say that. I would have let him one. It didn't seem like much to ask, only his mother... You're a terrible lot, parents. Always more care. What did you say? I do this, and then you can have that. Maybe. Oh. Blackmail, that's where it is. Nothing more, nothing less. You wait till you've got some children of your own. See what you say then. Well, now, there you've got me. How do you mean? I have to confess, two children. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. What are they? Boy and a girl, the boy's older. Pigeon pair. Yeah. <laughs> Make a lot of trouble for you, I shouldn't wonder. Got some photographs on me. I don't know. Well, I'd love to see them. No sooner said. <laughs> Our front room's a picture gallery. I'm supposed to have taken them out this afternoon. We were going to have a picnic. And here you are talking to an old man. I'm having a great time. Are you? You're quite sure you want to see them? You'll hand them over on your own <laughs> head. <laughs> Oh, they're not very good, uh, mm. the photos. Well, neither are the children, if it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the photos that Alan takes? Alan? I make Alan look like Leonardo da Vinci. Hmm? Oh, well, she's very pretty. Yes, as a matter of fact, that's not at all bad. <laughs> He's a sturdy lad. I suppose you could call him that. Takes after you. Oh, God forbid. Oh, that's terrible. Nonsense. Careful, Terry. Be careful now. I couldn't get the camera to work. She must have been sitting like that for, I don't know, hours. Don't go too far, Terry. Ah, is this your wife? You wouldn't thank me for showing her that. Terry, darling, stay where Daddy can see you. Well, that's all. Now you can relax. You've got a lovely family. Terry! One day, I'll get hold of a cine camera. Take a moving picture of them, because they move. Like perpetual motion, they move. I've got a photograph of you somewhere. Me? Yeah. Photograph? Yes, didn't know that, did you? Oh, I don't think you have, Mr. Stevens. I mean, I don't want... What, getting so old, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I hope I've got your memory when I get... Well, when I... I can't think where it is just now, but I'll find it, and when I do, I'll show it to you, and you'll have to apologise. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> you used to play football with Alan. You used to come and watch? Do you remember? Certainly, I remember every Saturday. I enjoyed watching those matches. Best supporter we ever had. Every time you didn't watch, we lost. Oh, I don't think you did. Certainly. The last year, weren't you, Captain? That's right. Well, I've got the photograph, the team, you, Ellen, all the boys. Oh, I see. <laughs> I can't think where it is now. I apologize. Mm. That was a very good team. Best team the school ever had. I went on, you know, watching. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. That's all right. Quite all right. What is it, Terry? I want to say goodbye. Are you going? Afraid so. Your mother doesn't mean half she says. You know that. She doesn't mean it. Why did she say it? Well, she doesn't think she gets excited. Well, she should think talking to me. Why shouldn't she? Oh, she's upset. She thinks she would be. Look, if she thought, if she you had any idea... You heard what she said? No better than a tar. That's what she said? No, it isn't. That's what she meant. No. Bloody yes. Terry, don't talk like that. I'm sorry. Look, I want you to come back with me into the front room and talk to your mother sensibly. Oh, no. Look, I'm asking you. Why can't she come out here? Talk to me out here. For my sake. Oh, no, Dad. No, it isn't fair. I don't want you running Why is it off, always you? Living Why on your own. Why should she always make you? No more does if your she mother. she didn't treat me. Look, come and talk to her. What does she think I am? Your mother worries about you. I'll leave you alone. Uh, no, don't go away. You wouldn't mind. Of course not. I was enjoying our chat. I'll wait outside. Thanks. And don't go away. Mr. Um... Uh, Lester. Gordon Lester. Mr. Lester came to see Alan, Dad. But he was at school with Ellen. We were talking about it, talking about yes, the old days. Yes, I know. And when you've spoken to your daughter. Mm, I was enjoying it. I want to say goodbye. All right, goodbye. Mother. Let her go. I shan't stop her. See how she gets on without us. What's the use, Dad? Talk to the child. No. Ask her to stay. Never. In a million years. But she's going away. She's going to leave home. Yes, I am. She means it. If you wanted to stay, you talk to her. Alan can bring the rest of my stuff when I've found a place. But, Terry, tonight. Where are you going to stay tonight? I'll find somewhere. No fear of that. 
What have I ever done to you? What haven't you done? I don't know. Look, if you just stayed in the oh, just no, a minute. Don't beg her to stay. Look, I've got some friends. They'll find me a corner somewhere. Terry. No, Dad, I can't. I would. I'd stay for your sake. Oh, yes. But I can't. Your father. They used to play football together. It won't take long. <laughs> we were talking about it. Where is Alan? Oh, he's in the front room. He's talking to my mother. Don't disturb them. Oh. Is that a, um, have you got a cigarette without a tip? What? Uh, uh, yes. Let me have one, uh, will you? Certainly. Thanks. I used to go and watch them. I don't suppose you remember, Terry. Mm, I remember. You don't remember me. Or should I? Oh, we used to know each other. We went to a couple of dances. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a long time ago. Uh, what was it you wanted to say? Excuse me. Of course. I want to say goodbye. I knew, I mean, obviously sometime you'll leave home. Remember that tall, dark stranger Mum was always talking about? Some nice boy, yes. He didn't seem to come along, did he? I didn't think... I can't stay, Dad, not any longer. I'll miss you. Come with me. Aren't you going to stay to summer? You'll be all right. You can, I don't know, take care of yourself. No one can hurt me, Dad. No, I can't, sorry. When you find some way, you... I'll let you know. It isn't happening. Can't be. Your mother will be disappointed. I love you so much, Dad. Don't believe it. I won't believe it. It is, Dad. It is happening. A bit busy tonight. What will it be like without you? Well, I do. You're happy, are you? Yes, why? You should be happy. Thanks. When are we going to see you again? Oh, I don't know. Sometime. Soon. Your mother misses you. Now, don't do too much. Hmm? Don't let Alan break your back. No, I won't. He's on some kind of health kick at the moment. Huh? He's decided you need a lot of fresh air and exercise. Do you remember that picnic? Picnic? What picnic, Dad? On a hill, the side of a hill, and you went running and you fell over. Did that really happen? I thought you were going to roll clear down the hill. I thought I made it up. It was such a hot day. Your mother had the devil of a job making you keep your clothes on. Funny. Do you remember climbing? There was just the one path, and that wasn't much of a path. Well, I remember. I had to carry you. And Alan went on, up the path, and he stood... He stood right at the top of the hill and, and shouted down to us. Yes. Come on, he shouted. Buck up. Slow coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Your poor mother, she only just made it. A good thing she did. She was carrying the food. That was a day. I thought I made it up. That was a good day. Aren't you staying this up? No. When are we going to see you again? Oh, I don't know. You know, soon. Yes, make it soon. You were laughing and crying. The dirt all over your face, your clothes, you cut your knee. It was a good day. Yes. <laughs> I, I hurt myself. Well, I told you, didn't I, Poppy? I, I didn't want to hurt myself. Scrambling about, falling over, running away. I didn't know it would hurt. He didn't tell me it would hurt. Nobody told me. What happened? We went for a drive in his car. Yeah. We went a long way and it got very late. I said, take me home, and he laughed. Where did you go? I don't know. We went so fast. It must have been a long way. And then he stopped. Yes. He kissed me. He put his arms round me and held me tight. And then he bit me, bit my ear, and said things, whispered things. I said, take me home, and he laughed again. What did he do? He pulled at me. 
hold of my dress and tore it. I tried to get away from him, and all the time, Daddy was laughing all the time. What did he do? Hurt me. And you, Terry, you let him... Let him know I couldn't stop him. Well, how far did he... he... How? He talked to me all the time, whispered to me gently in my head, as if he was telling me some sort of story, like you, Dad. No. Some secret story. Not, oh, not, no, not like no. I, I could feel his hands on me, over me. All over me. Could you let him touch, Terry? But it didn't seem, I don't know, listening to him, listening to what he was saying. Soft things, tender things, love. Oh, Daddy. You let him, make... Terry, how could you? But I didn't want him to stop. Hmm. I didn't. It was so real. And everything else... Nothing. I hate you. Floating, drifting, and his hands. All I could feel. Stop. All I could hear. Stop talking. And then, stop. And then he hurt me. I cried out. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Sarah, I didn't mean to hurt you. I wouldn't. Sarah, please forgive me. For all the world, I wouldn't hurt Sarah. Don't turn away. He thought. He told me afterwards. I'll fetch your mother. Oh, oh no, don't tell her. You must talk. No, look, it'll be all right, he said. Oh, don't tell Mum. Must tell. No, look, look, I had to tell someone. I wanted to tell you. Your mother, don't no, be silly. I must... can't tell her. Yes. I won't. We have to tell your mother. She'll know what to do. You've told your mother. What? You, you aren't staying to supper. Oh, yes. Well, you know what she is. We've got your address, have we? I'll give it to mother. Make sure you do. Bye. Take care of yourself. Mm, I'll try to. Terry, hmm? what about your present? Well, you can't go without your present. Oh, no, I suppose not. No, of course you can't. I don't know what your mother would say if you went without your present. Now, <laughs> mother. Oh, look, Dad, you don't have to. Helen. You can't let Terry go without giving her a present. <laughs> she tried to understand, does anybody? Terry's present. What? Oh, for Present, what present's that? Well, Terry's birthday present. Terry's birthday was, Last uh... Month. Well, we've been keeping it for her. Yeah, you don't have to. Come on, come on, open it. Can you guess what it is? No, no. No, I've no idea. I don't know what all the fuss is about. It's only... No, don't, don't tell her. Let her guess. Can you guess? No, I haven't the faintest idea. Hmm. There you are. Uh, uh, this will help. Don't know why you wrapped it up like a... like a don't know what. Well, that's the fun of it, isn't it? <sighs> oh. Your mother chose it. Yes? Well, you like it, don't you? Yes, it's lovely, thank you. Couldn't think what else. <laughs> no, it's super, really, thanks. A happy birthday. I've got nothing for you. Well, I'll leave an address. You can send it on to me. Oh, just like a brother. <laughs> if you don't like it, you, you can easily go and change it. I ask them. But of course she likes it. Yes, I like it. Well, then. You're welcome to stay to supper. Oh, no, thanks. Have you anything I can write that I give you my address? A uh, pen, maybe. Oh, don't do that. I might find a use for that. Wouldn't you better go and see how your friend's getting on? He was looking distinctly sorry for himself a couple of moments ago. For goodness sake. There you are. Put it somewhere safe so you can be sure and lose it. 130A, 4 Scythe Street. 
You'll never find it on your own. When you come, you better give me plenty of warning. I can put chalk marks all the way along the pavements. It's, well, it used to be a very smart neighborhood. Just difficult for the stranger to find his way. They sell survival kits at all the chemists. We'll find it. Oh, don't you be too sure. Better men than you have perished. The white man's grave, or is it burden? Anyway, if you are white, you need a passport. You should be happy enough there. Yes, I'm very happy there, thank you. We'll come and see you soon, Oh, Teddy. please, Dad, it would be nice. I'd like to show it off to you. Have to be a weekend, I suppose. Or unless you could manage an evening. We don't go out much in the evenings, do we, Mother? Stuck in watching the telly. We watch television, yes. I've got to say. Dad. Oh, Dad, thank you for coming. Sounded like you might need a bit of help. Come in. I won't be a moment. I'm all packed. It isn't easy to find, is it? I'll get my suitcase. It's like a rabbit, Warren. Yes. Baron's Court. It's a funny name for a place for something like this. I'll just put a brush through my hair. Mm. Is this all you've got? Oh. God, I look awful. Sorry, Dad, what did you say? Is this all you've got, the two of you? Yes. It isn't much. <laughs> Lovely. What is it? What's the matter? You look so tired. I've never seen well, you I haven't been so sleeping tired. very well lately, that's all. No, oh, it's more, Lovey, more than not sleeping. Take me home, Dad. I should be all right there. Take me anywhere. I don't care. We've got your old room waiting for you, Lovey. Look, it isn't him, Dad. I love him. It, it's this place and living. You can't call it living. Scrambling and fighting every day and people looking at you. Dad, it shouldn't. I love him just because I love him. It shouldn't. You can tell us all about it when we get you But home. you do understand, Dad, don't you? It isn't Leonard. Yes, I love yes, him. Yes, of course. It's his place. God, I live here and I hate it. I hate Your it. Your old room's just the same. I love You'll him. be happy there. But I can't live Comfort. like a pig in all now, this come stuff. On, love. It's Shh. all we can get. Baby, baby. And Mum. Your mother can't wait to see you. She hates me. Nonsense. What nonsense. She would have come with me, but you know your mother. She wanted everything nice for you. Spick and span. You know what your mother is. Didn't she say, just you wait, my girl, you'll come home to us begging on your knees? No, all forgotten, baby, all forgotten. She was right. Now, the sooner I get you home, come on. Well, now, baby, what's all this here? What's going on? I'm going home. You're going home? Who says you're going home, baby? I don't say you're going home. Please, let me. This, your daddy. I'm Teddy's father, yes. Hi, daddy, baby. How come you're fixing to steal my wife away from me? Teddy wants to come home, I'm taking her home. No. I can't stay you... here. You are my wife, baby. You just naturally got to stay here. I'm taking my daughter home where she belongs. Here, Daddy Baby. Here where she belongs with her rightful husband. Hmm? You wasn't there, but she married me. Oh, I got papers to show. Hmm? I won't let her live in this, this filth. You think I want to live in filth? You think if I could get me a better place, if I could afford me a better place, you think I would stay here? All right, get yourself a better place, but don't make her make my daughter My live wife. If you love her... I me. love her! I love you. You love her and you keep her in a, a pigsty like you this. You think I want her living here? Baby. Oh, how many times I got to say it. What do you think I am? You think I'm an animal? I want to live in my own mess. Is that what you think? If you love her, I think you could do better than Oh, this. baby, try. You, try being black like I'm black. 
Because I'm black, huh? Look at me! All over. I'm black. You be like that, and then you come and tell me do better. All this talk all the time about how badly people, I don't know, treat you, you make an excuse. That's what you think? Well, what do you do? I look for work, baby. If you want, really want... I want to! You believe me, I throw up. Every morning, I wake up here. I look at these walls, and Terry, in the bed next to me, and all I can see are these filthy walls! And this! Now, what is this? And the rats! You can hear the rats, you know that? And the... Just all, all the mess. Terry living here. I love her, you know. I throw up. And this, believe me, Daddy Baby, this is the best that I can do. Because this land is your land. I'm taking Terry home. You got a piece of paper says you can take my wife out of here? She phoned me this morning. I knew there was something cooking, baby. I just naturally knew. She said, come and take me home. Is that what you said? I love you. You say that. But come I and take me home. I can't live here. This is the only place we go. Living here, Leonard, it makes me ill. It makes... I know, baby, me too. But we're going to break out. I promise you we're not staying here. Don't you know that? You said I mean that. it. Baby, when we got started, I told you it'll be rough. I told you that. I know. Too rough. But you can't expect any, well, decent... Daddy, girl. baby, I can expect. Yeah, I get disappointed, but I can expect. Any decent girl here, well... You want to go with him? I want him to take me. I'll stop him. If I can, baby. I need you. Well, you hear what she says. You've got to take her. Oh, she sent for me. Yeah, now she won't walk out that door without you carry her, right? She wants to come She home. wants a lot of things, Daddy Baby. No, she told me on the... Now she's telling you, take me. Terry. That's the way it is. Come on, love. No, Daddy Baby. She wants you fighting for her. You have to take her up out of all this mess. Up high on that white horse all you fathers are supposed to have. Riding whip in one hand and golden reins in the other. Look, your mother. No, Daddy Baby, you. you got to fight. Because I'm fighting. I want this girl. I've got her. And I'm going to keep her. It's a big man's going to take her away from me. Now, you that big man. For me. Go away, Daddy Baby. You told me. Go that... away. When you're ready to come home, Teddy, when you want to come home, we'll, we'll be waiting for you. She ain't coming home. She just now really left. I'll keep in touch. Nice to see you again. And you. Uh, I hope it won't be so long. Hope so, too. Have you heard me, Terry? What, Dad? Oh, yes. Anyway, you're going to come see me in my new flat. Well, you write to us. Oh, Dad, you know me. I can't write my name, Terry. let alone... Hmm? Take care of yourself. Oh, fireproof. You know me. I'm the one. Pull up the ladder. 
Sorry, sweetie, too many things to do. Fate of nations. Something like that. Why aren't you staying to supper? Because there are people expecting me. Hmm. Your daughter is a very popular girl. But you come all this way. Just because I love you. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Well, all the more reason to come and see me settled in my new flat. Don't rush off. Oh, Dad, you know there's nothing I like better than a quiet evening with you, but needs must. Bye now. I'll walk with you, Terry, as far as the bus. No, Dad. Thanks all the same. No, it's no trouble. I could just do with a walk. You wait there. I'll change my shoes. Shall be a moment. No, Dad, don't bother. I'm late as it is. Mind how you go. She's old enough. She can look after herself. I don't know what gets into the girl. She's changed, hasn't she? I hardly recognize Oh, yes. The same girl. Terry's changed. Six months. If I'd had any idea. It must be six months since we last saw Terry. More than that. Is it? Yes, I suppose it is. She's a very attractive young lady. I think we ought to go and see that, uh, what is it, the new flat she's living in? If there's time. Do you mind waiting a bit longer? You've got the address. Well, as a matter of fact, I'll I'll just have a word. You have got the address? Yes, I have. Well, she seemed to want us to go. Let me make a cup of tea, Gordon. Oh, no, really, Mrs. Uh, well, Steele. Well, I hate to think down. of it. I'd like to see where she's living. <laughs> Not even minutes. a cup of tea. Well, I want to go anyway. Yes, Ted. Oh, don't you? If there's time. Uh, Dad, uh, who is this later? girl? What did Terry Can say? Can I talk to you, Dad? Uh, when Jessica. you're at home. Oh, do you know her? No, I don't. Honestly, Gordon. Who is she? What sort of girl idea. is she? What Not does she do? How should I Dad, know? Dad, how does Teddy come way? to meet her? How does she come I'm to be sorry. sharing? Forget it. We don't know any of her friends. Oh, Mum. I'll look after Gordon. There's no need. Dad. Using this house like a hotel, coming and going just as she wishes. Can I talk to you? Your Dad? mother's right. Thanks. Absolutely right. I talk to you. What's happened to her? Always rushing off. Where? Where does she go? Should I take the job, Dad? She's not the same girl. It means I shall have to leave England. And he's right, the boy's right. Well, what's his name? It means I have to go abroad. I hardly recognize her now. I shall have to live abroad. I want to know. Dad, listen to me. Will you listen to me? Well, what does your mother say? Well, you know what she says. You mustn't think about us, Alan. You take the job if you want to take it. Well, then, if that's what your mother says. Yeah, but, well, what do you say, Dad? I'm asking you. Well, I, I think she's right, if you want to take the job. Well, of course I'm... I want to take the job. Well, that's all there is to it. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, if I take the job, it, um, it isn't just, you know, a few months. Why did she marry him? I don't know, Dad, she was in love with him, I suppose. How could she? What do you mean, love him, love someone? Well, if you talk to Terry, anyway, what does it mean? Get an love. What does it mean? Me. Did you see him? I saw him. Yeah, I did. Black as the ace of spades. I met him once. I liked him. You liked him? Yes, I liked him, and Terry loved him. And that's all you have to say, is it? Terry loved him, and that's supposed to explain. That's... Oh, Dad, will you listen to me? Will you stop for a minute, just for one minute, will you stop thinking about your precious daughter, will you, and think about me? I have to tell him tomorrow. What? Well, tell him what tomorrow? Gave me the weekend to think about it. What are you talking about? The job. Whether I should take the job. Well, of course you should take the job. You'll be a fool not to take it. It's a good job, isn't it a good job? Yes, it is. Well, he expects you to take it, doesn't he? Yes, he expects me to take it. <laughs> Doesn't everyone gets the chance? You'll go away? Yes. How long? When will we see you? Well, I don't know. He said something about home leave. Every two years. You take Ellen and the children? Yes, of course. Terry won't come home again? Yes, she come home. I don't think so. What does your mother say? Well, as far as Terry's No, concerned. you. What does she say about you and going... where? Australia. What does she say? I should go. She's right. Yeah, but she hasn't thought about it. You haven't thought. I, I know Terry. I mean, how much you care. Watching her, you know, walking away, I thought... Dad, that... just please... 
Before I go home, think, will you? Mm. If it's too much, I don't have to take the job. I, I mean, all I want you to L do Ellen is... Ellen wants you to take it? Yes. Well, if she's a sensible girl. Yeah, but she's got no family, no one she has to leave. She's lucky. Yeah, but she understands. I like it. If I say no, if I tell him... You that can't I... say no. If you want me to, you and Mum... You can't throw away a chance like this. <sighs> Dad, when I get on that boat, when... Um, I mean, that's it. You'll be going by boat, will you? It's two years. Halfway around the world. Well, even then, I'm not sure. Oh, do the kids know? They'll have the time of their lives. Are they looking forward to it? I haven't told them. I haven't decided. What I wouldn't give. Oh, I shouldn't really, you know. I'm smoking too much. But as I say to your mother, if I can't smoke too much at my age... It's a wonderful opportunity. Dad, I might never... Your mother's going to miss those kids of yours. What does she say about it? She likes to have some kids about the house. It's a noise, I suppose. <laughs> Makes all the difference to her. She's not the same woman. Mm. You're right about the garden, you know. It is a mess. I don't know. I don't seem to be able to get interested in it these days. I used to look forward to Sunday, you remember? I used to dig the garden every Sunday. Digging, planting, lifting the potatoes. Always something to do in a garden. It's the beauty of it. I'm going away, Dan. Best, really. I can't have you spoiling your chances. They only come once. If you want me to stay. Of course, I don't know what the old boys are going to say about it. You know, Gordon was saying, Alan is the life and soul of the old yeah, boys. You manage. Well, it's not so easy. Something like that depends on one man, more often than not, the enthusiasm of one man. I'll find someone else. No, a man who cares. I won't be sorry You've to You've given sing... a lot of your time. Dad, yeah. I don't care. Find some other idiot ready to give up half his life and all his friends. No, it's more than that. It isn't important. But don't make it seem ridiculous. I only took it on. Just because now you... You know why I took it on? Well, you were always popular. You wanted me to. I wanted you to? Yes. I didn't care one way or the other. I, I, I asked you, Dad, should I take it but on? But why do you always make me try to make me uh, responsible? I, I told you, I've got enough to do. I can't spare the time. I am not responsible. Should I take it on? Did you do things, the things you yes, do. Yes, you said yes. You make up your own mind. Keep in touch with your old friends. Didn't you say that? Well, yes. You'll never regret time yeah, but look spent at Teddy. keeping in touch she with your own friends. I with don't want to talk about Terry. Is she happy? Am I happy? How would you know? Got everything. Oh, yes. More 10,000 times Than more. you ever had. Right. And you never stop telling me. You and Mum both. You should be happy. Every time. I promise myself every time. Oh, sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Let's call it a day. As you know. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I can hear you. Don't turn your back on me when I'm talking to you. At least have the courtesy. What do you want to say to me? Don't talk to me like oh, that. Don't talk to me like a father. You mind You're what? You're too late and I'm too old. Respect. We'll have a little respect. Try and talk to me as if I might. I mean, just possibly might have something to say. I don't know why anymore I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. God, just... Doesn't that remind you of Terry, Dad? Mm. Just a bit remind I you... I got the impression you didn't want to talk about Terry. That's right. I've had to listen. I've lost count of no, the time. I, I don't I think to... you've listened to me since I was four, five years old and talking was 
door table, sweetie dada. Now, if there was a chance of my understanding what you were saying, I'd be glad to listen. If there was a chance that you'd listen, I'd try and make you understand. Now, what's the point, Dad? Why can't I talk to you? I've thought about that. I miss... Most of all, I missed, you know, talking to you and Terry. I can't remember what we talked about. I don't suppose it was particularly important. I'm sure it wasn't, but talking. No, we didn't talk. Yes. I've gone far, Mum. We did talk. I'm going home. I won't be able to stay for supper. I remember evenings we, we talked. Dad, I don't know what you remember, what you want to remember. Talking? No. Not with me. Terry, maybe, once in a golden while, but not often. Not even with Terry. Well, next time you see her, you ask her, because she's in the mood to tell you. What is it you know about Terry? She won't come back. You're right, Dad, she won't come here again. I talked to her, we had a good talk. This time, this last time, she You came... don't like Terry. She's my sister. Why don't you like her? I like the people I have to like, the people I see every day. But you should like... I should love her. She's family, isn't she? You should love family. Yes, but you don't love her. No. She isn't happy. She came to tell you that, Dad. If only... If she... Kept in touch. If she was near her home, if she came to see us more often... You wouldn't wish that on her, would you? Honestly. I don't know what you mean. Poor old Terry. I would like to understand. About Terry? Yes. She needs to, oh, I don't know, grow up. She needs, she has to be on her own, accept it and then get on with it. Well, get on with what? That's not important. But she isn't on her own. She came to tell you, Dad, she knows. But she's got us. Now she can work from that. Fact. She's always got her family. Doesn't have to waste any more time running away, running around, hiding. Her mother? You taught her to hide. Me? And now she has to unteach herself. Sometimes, you know, Alan, talking to you, she I won't feel... She come back. As if I was talking to a stranger. I'll take the job. Well, it isn't everyone that gets... Alan! Poor God, it's still waiting. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Mum. Just coming. What have you been talking about? Yeah, look, Mum, I've kept Gordon waiting. Long what have you enough. been now, saying to your please, father? Please, Mum. Look at him. I asked him, should I take the job? I think he should, don't you, Mother? I think he should make up his own mind. Yeah, I have. I'm taking the job off to Tipperary in the morning. Now, can you please get out on that? I want to know what's been going on between you and your father. Is Gordon still here? Did you say Gordon was still here? Yes, I did. We talked about Terry. That's all. Just a bit about Terry. Well, he must be wondering what's happening, kept hanging about. Yeah, he's got a family of his own. What do you know about Terry? Yeah, there's something I want to show him. Yeah, it's a great thing, isn't it? Oh, out to the way, you two blocking the traffic. Yes, everyone's got one. Everyone understands yeah. about families. Gordon, there's something I want to show you. Is ah. that seen what you say? No, I was talking to you about the photograph, do you remember? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Look, yeah, I don't think I that... know where it is. I just remember talking to Alan. I suddenly remembered where it was. I saw it just the other day. I'm terribly sorry, just Mr. Stevens. Just the other day. Now, I can't think why I didn't think of this before. Now, they're here. My... I'm absolutely sure. My wife's expecting me back for tea, and it's all right. I'm hopelessly late already. No, oh, well, I won't be a moment now I finding them. Mrs. Stevens is going to tell Alan. Oh, damn. I just want to let him know. Oh, fingers and thumbs, fingers well, and thumbs. Perhaps we'd better leave it for today, Mrs. Stevens. Some no, other more time. Oh, no, love. There you are. Yeah, I know. I thought it was all the rain or something when it comes to the Yeah, I know. Your idea should meet you here. Yeah, well, what about tomorrow? Lunch. I could get away for an hour. Tomorrow's out of the question. Well, in the evening. I've often thought of going back there. What on earth for? I'd like to see the old place again. The people you used to know, well, they must be dead by now. Sorry we've wasted so much of your time. No. Oh, no. It isn't often we see Alan these days. I didn't About six. Mrs. Stevens, please. That's perfectly all right, Gordon. I quite understand. Smile, everybody. Smile, please. 
Teddy, smile. Tomorrow. I can't smile. Can you make it seven? A six bit of oh, seven it is. Ah, I was sure, absolutely sure. What are you looking for? There's a photograph I want to show Gordon. He's gone. I see. Oh, well. His wife's expecting him home for tea. Oh, yes, she did say something. What photograph was it? Well, the school team. It was taken their last term, you remember? Gordon was captain and Ellen was centre forward. You won't find it there, will you? Well, I thought I saw it. Well, not with those photographs. They're all as old as the hills. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's funny because... He's gone. He couldn't wait any longer. He's a nice boy, Gordon. I like him. What were you and Alan talking about? Uh, whether or not he should take this new job he's been offered. That's all? He wanted to ask me, should he take it? You were talking a long time. I wish I could find that photograph. I thought you were a bit upset. Hmm? Me? I upset where? When I walked in, I... Wondered what Alan could have said to upset you. I wasn't upset. I thought you looked upset. Uh, Alan. Just coming, Dad. If he said something... He didn't. Oh, poor old Gordon. He had to go off, did he? Uh, just about half an hour late. Oh, I had a photograph I wanted to show him. Oh, did you? A photograph of the school team. Yeah, I've still got that. Yes, I have. You know your father. Oh, where is it, Dad? Oh, He never uh, throws anything away. Well, that photograph is ages these. old. these. How long do you think he's been keeping these? No, it's all right, Mother. Yeah, I'll do you that. sit down. No, I'll pick You're them up. You're looking tired. Where is it, Dad? What's it? The photograph. I'd like to see it. Alan, no. Uh, well, I can't remember. Oh, don't get him started. I thought you said you knew where it was. Uh, silly, you're, isn't it? You'll find it. No, leave it. I'll oh, put it no, 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 I don't think I've seen this before, have I? Oh, yes, you have. No, I don't think so. I don't remember it. Well, uh, let me look. No, it's all right. I can manage. <coughs> now then. I used to live there when I was a boy. I must have shown it to you. Mm. Every other Sunday for the last five years. I often thought I'd like to go back and see the old place. Really? Make a nice trip, wouldn't it? Oh, you could go this summer. Oh, don't <laughs> put ideas As a matter of fact, only last summer I was walking in the park and the trees... The trees looked so beautiful. You could stay there, couldn't you? There must be a hotel of sorts. I went for a walk. Oh, come on, when was the last time you two had a proper holiday? It was on when my own. Children. I was walking on my own and I thought... Well, it's good in time you had another. I thought it's not like it used to be at home. You know what I think? I could walk a mile, not meet a soul. You, you and Mum, get yourselves packed. Soon as the sun shines, off you go. That's what I think. God knows there's little enough to keep us here. There's something about the sun in the trees overhead. It made me think, breaking and moving, smiling, like home, I thought. Why don't I go back and see the old place? Oh, people do, lots of people. When they get to your father's age. Yes, that's right. It's very likely changed. It's a long time. Well, go and see. Your father won't know anybody living there well, does now, that and nobody will know him. I certainly would like to see the old place once before. Think. Why don't you think? I know where it is. <laughs> yes, of course. Hey, Dad, don't run away. What an idiot I am. Dad, I've got to leave in a few I, minutes. I thought now, I know. <laughs> Dad. Hmm? Don't take all night. I know just where it is now, and I'd like you to see it. I'd like to see it. Alan, come here. I want to talk to you. Oh, now, look. I will not have oh, you. Mom, what did I say?
Yes, I will. I I'll make it go backwards. <laughs> There'll never be night. I will make day, eternal day, everlasting. And I'll love you, Sarah. Love you all that everlasting day. Sarah, don't turn away. I'll make the sun shine in the middle of the night. I didn't mean to hurt you. I wouldn't hurt you. I'll make the stars fall into your lap. You want the stars? You can have them. Look at me, Sarah. Don't cry. We'll have children, hundreds of children. We'll make them together, you and I, Sarah. We'll make them with love, and then we'll make them happy. We'll make them laugh, like we laugh, Sarah. Because <coughs> we can laugh. That's what we'll give them, happiness and laughter. I know that people, other people, say these things, these same things, but I mean them. Really, Sarah, mean them. I've seen things, done things in the war, and if I can't make sense now, if there isn't a reason, if you aren't the reason... If I get out of this, when I get out, I'll make sure, hear me? I'll make bloody sure I see things better. A whole lot better. Sarah, I won the prize everyone else was fighting for. I'm alive. Dad? Hey. What are you doing? Did you find it? What? Find what? A photograph. I thought you said you knew where it was. Did you find no, it? No, I, I didn't. Are you all right? Yes, yes, I, I'm fine. Why, why do you ask? Well, uh, Thought you looked, I don't know, a bit strange. Why do you always quarrel with your mother? I beg your pardon? Every time you see her, you quarrel these days. Are you serious? First Terry, I mean, I've just and bothered. then you. I've had more than enough. Don't you know how it upsets her? Don't you have any idea? I'm going home. I just came to say goodbye. Oh, you children, you don't think. Goodbye. Well, why can't you be kind to her? Oh. I look in one night during the week. I can't say exactly now when it's likely to be. If it isn't possible. Thursday, maybe Friday. If you can't try a bit harder, no, then you'll... Don't say it, Dad. Don't send me away. Will you take the job? Yes, I think so. Yes, I know. I'll tell him tomorrow. It's the sort of job... Exciting sounds exciting. It's the same job I'm doing now. Different office, different country. It's the same job. Facts and figures, people and percentages. You always make everything sound so... I don't know, dull. More dull than they are, than they have to be. It's the way they look to me. It's the way they seem. It's going to be funny, you halfway around the world. Will it make all that much difference? Don't understand what you mean. I think I. I don't know why I said it. I don't have to take the job. Yes, you do, of course you do. If you say so. You know, I was thinking, do you know something? I can't remember things we did together. When you were a boy, I tried, but I can't. You used to come and watch me play football every Saturday afternoon. Yes, I did, didn't I? I know I did. Mum says if you stay up here much longer, you'll miss some program you want to see on the telly. I'd like to find that photograph. you find it. Oh, yes. You coming down? Hmm. Or shall I tell Mum? Tell her I'll come down when I'm ready to come down. All right, then. That's what I'll tell her. Will you have a cigarette? No, thanks, Dan. I don't smoke. Oh, no. It's Terry, isn't it? Yes. 
What's wrong, Alan? What is it? I try and talk to the girl. I try. She just isn't my little girl anymore, is she? No. You see, there's something happening to Terry, and I want to help her. If I knew... Well, why don't you ask Mum? No, Daddy, please. It's all right, baby. Daddy won't hurt you. Don't touch it. We must get it clean, baby. We can't have any nasty dirt. You're hurting. Hurting. I know, baby. Not much longer. No, please, Daddy. Well, if we don't get it clean, well, it might never get better. Mummy! I want Mummy! Well, now, that's a bit silly, isn't it? You hurt me. Yes, but look, it's all done now. Daddy's tied it up in a nice, clean bandage. That's rather good. Still hurts. We could play hospitals. Would you like to play hospitals? What are you doing up there? You be the patient, I'll be the doctor. No. Oh, come on, baby. You're going to play with Daddy, aren't you? You're not going to make him cry. Tell me a story. Yes, all right. What story would you like? About the princess and how she was taken away. Ted? Oh, yes. And about her Daddy finding her again. I remember. I like that story. Ted, for goodness sake! Well, you make yourself comfortable. While I tell you the story, you go to sleep. If I go to sleep, I'll miss the end. I'll tell it you again tomorrow. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. A very beautiful princess. Golden hair, blue, blue eyes. She lived in a land where the sun shone all day. It was always summer. Are you going to stay up there forever? Her father was the king and he was very handsome. Her mother was the queen and she was so kind that everybody loved her. She used to give them presents. Lots and lots of presents. That's right. One day, go on, Daddy. One day, the king gave a great party for his daughter, the princess. He invited everyone in the land specially to come and have a lovely time. Cakes and things, and ice cream. More ice cream than you could eat in the month of Sundays. Now, there was a man at the party who loved the princess very much indeed. But he was sad, wasn't he? He was always trying to speak to her when she was alone. But there were so many people with her that he never could. He used to watch the princess wherever she went. His own daughter, so read you. Yeah, you know the story better than I do. You tell it. Still looking for that photograph? Oh, no, Daddy. No, no, you tell it. I can't think where it's got to. Let's have a bit of light on the subject. It's got quite dark. It doesn't matter now. I hope you look for it. I don't know where to start. He doesn't look well, does he, Alan? Well enough. He looked in here. These drawers. She leads him a bit of a dance, doesn't she? She wants him to take that job. But he's going to. He said so. I've looked in there. It doesn't... I don't know where it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. You wanted to look at it. I wanted to show it to Gordon. If he does take the job, if he does go to Australia, I shan't see him again. Nonsense. You know, there's a case in the attic. It doesn't matter. He'll be back in two years. He said so. He said he wasn't certain. Two years isn't very long. He kept saying that I want him to take the job. He kept asking me. Perhaps he isn't all that keen on taking it. Well, it sounds like a good job. He's happy enough where he is. She wants him to take it's it. Promotion, isn't it? Well, if he's happy she enough where he is. For him. If they want to go, if they made up their minds, why did they? Oh, there's Give never it. a mastery. What does he want me to say? What does he expect me to say? Don't worry about it. He takes the job. I shan't see him again. Oh, of course you will. Don't like to think of him 
Halfway across the other side of the world. Would it really make that much difference? He said that. Alan said. What did he mean? If it was Terry. Why did she come and see us today? She got up this morning, she thought to herself. What did she want? She wanted to see you. Oh, she isn't happy. Terry! I didn't think she looked happy. She's never happier, Terry, so long as there's a drama of some kind going on. What drama? I'm going downstairs. You can stay up here if you like. Well, why do you always fight with the girl? You heard what she said to me. Well, you never give you her were a chance. Sitting there. She's only a child. The day she treats me like a mother, I'll treat her like a daughter. When she said goodbye, didn't you think somehow I oh, thought look, that she... It was six months, more, this time. She'll come and see you again. Well, she should come and see me. She will. I'm her father. She always has come back before and she always will. In the meantime... Don't fight with her. Come on. You've been up here most of the evening already. Hmm? I was looking for that photograph. Well, you can look for it tomorrow. I'd like to find it. We'll both look tomorrow. Mm. Then I can give them to Alan and he can show it to Gordon. Yeah. I was talking to Gordon and I remembered that I had it. Have a nice talk to Gordon? Oh, yes, I did. He must have He's a, a nice lot boy, to talk Gordon. about. Like he was him. in there with you mostly. School, mostly. Going to school with Alan. Oh, yeah. He said Alan was top boy of the school. So he was. They were all jealous of him. <laughs> Well, he did very well. He almost did very well. Yes, yes, he did. All his teachers used oh, to Oh, he only showed me some photos. What of his children. He has a fine-looking boy and a girl. Oh, I wish I'd seen them. Well, the boy is the same age, Alan. Uh, no, uh... Um, Michael. Mm, mm. The girl's younger. Pigeon bear. That's what I said. I thought they might stay to supper, both of them. Alan and Gordon. He showed me some photos of his wife, too. She's... Very pretty. Is she local? I didn't know her. You could have shown him some pictures of Michael and little Sarah. Really, they don't like us at all, do they, Sarah? Like us who? Terry. Alan. They come and see us. You're their mother and I'm their father. They're very lucky. We live here, they come here. Not very often they don't. I suppose we should be thankful that they come and see us at all. No, I won't be thankful. Well, it's a duty, isn't it? They like to see you. There's not a lot. I was thinking about it today. There's no pleasure for them. Well, it's precious little for us when they carry on the way they did today. And I like to see them. Yes. If there was... I mean, if I could... If it was possible to be... Whatever Alan, whatever he wanted me to be. He loves you. He kept asking, ought I, Dad? Ought I to take the job? I don't know. How can I know? I mean, most of his life. What do I know about that? What do I know about him anymore? He shouldn't have asked you. I'm his father. Yes, if he wants advice. Is that what he wants? He has to make up his own mind. I don't know what he wants me to say. He wants you to tell him what he should do. Hmm. You're his father. He thinks you can tell him, and because you're his father, what you tell him will be right. No, that, that isn't what he thinks. Alan never has been able to make up his own mind. He's always had to ask someone. He knows if he goes to Australia that he won't see me again. He knows I'll be... He wants me to ask him to stay. He wants me to beg him to stay. Oh, no. He's asking for help. He thinks I need him. He thinks I'll miss him so much. I will, yes. you to tell him what he should do. He said... Do you know what he said? 
He said we didn't talk together. When he was a boy, when he was at home, he said, but we did, didn't we? We used to sit and talk, I remember. Alan and me, by the hour, talk about everything under the sun. That's right. Well, why did he say it? I don't know. Denying. I lit the fire in the front room. Why don't we go down and get a bit warm? It's cold. Don't you think it's cold in here? I had a good childhood. It's still winter, really. You want it to be summer so much. Of why does she have now to pretend oh, as if... They had a wonderful childhood. Yes. If every child... I remember my father. Uh, look, don't have another one. Not... You're smoking too much. Wait until after supper. I remember. They had a wonderful child. Of course they did. Do you remember that picnic? What? I was only thinking about it today. What picnic? On the side of a hill looking down. I can't remember where. Oh, yes. I can see it so clearly. Terry ran away and she fell over and she cut her knee. You do remember? <laughs> Certainly I remember. There was a... There was a path, a very narrow path, yes. Yeah. Well, that's right. The three of you left me to carry the food all by mm. myself. <laughs> well, Terry said... I was speaking about it to her and asking, did she remember? She said, did it happen? Oh, I can remember carrying that basket. <laughs> she said, I thought I made it up. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I thought I made it up. Naturally, it, it started to rain, do you remember that? After tea. <laughs> we only just got to shelter. <laughs> Running across the grass and Alice... <laughs> Shouting with excitement. I was, I was carrying Terry. Terry. She said she couldn't walk. Oh, I've no. hurt my knee. No, as a matter of fact, I think it was you carrying it was Terry. It's a funny sort of shelter. It can't have been a bus shelter. Oh, we were a long way from mm, buses. I'm too <laughs> ill to walk. <laughs> she had to scratch the size of my finger <laughs> A little madam. <laughs> I don't even recognise her now. No. Perhaps we should go and see her. Yeah, if you want to. See this new place she's got? Yes. I'd like to see where she's living, what sort of place it is. Well, we'll talk about it later. Well, you'll come with me. If there's time. She wants us to go. She wants you to go. I can't go on my own. You can? Of course you can. Want to see her? Yes, I know. Go and see her. But how can I go if you won't go? <laughs> it won't... Believe me, it won't make a scrap of difference to Terry, whether I come with you or not. It'll make a lot of difference to me. Tell me when you're thinking of going. I'll see if I can manage. Sarah, the girl needs you. The girl told me today precisely what she needs, wants from me. She wants to be left alone. <laughs> that... And that is what she wants, and I'm only too happy to oblige her. There was something's happening to Terry. I don't know what it is. She wouldn't tell me. She told Alan. Perhaps she told you. She told me. Whatever it is. She's pregnant. <laughs> it's a fairly normal condition for a woman Terry's age. It's a pity she hasn't got a father for it, of course. I don't suppose that'll matter to her one way or the other. Yes. Terry. He kissed me. She always told you the good things she did. He put his arms round me. The things she wanted you to know about. And held me tight. And then he bit me, bit my ear, and said things, whispered things. I said, take me home, and he laughed again. What did he do? He pulled at me, pulled at my dress, and tore it. I tried to get away from him, and all the time, Dad, he was laughing all the time. What did he do? He hurt me. Show him the big stick. Let him know who's master. You kid, are you letting me... Let him know I couldn't stop him. I could feel his hands on me. Over me. All over me. I didn't want him to stop. I love him. I'm going to marry Leonard. 
I'm asking because you're my parents and I would, believe it or not, like you there to see me married. Your father can do as he pleases, of course. Will you come? No, I won't. Dad? Well, give us a chance, lover. You sprung this Look, whole thing. Look, I'm asking thing. you, both of you, will you come and see your daughter married? What do you care? Well, if you don't know... Stand up on your own. You want to marry him? I love him. Right, then. You don't need us there. Dad? Well, I thought, I always thought, Terry, that the day you got oh, married... Oh, look, it won't be like that. The Dad. greatest day of Leonard my life, Leonard and me, and if you... you won't come... But we've never even met him. But you won't meet him! Well, that isn't true. Dad, I've asked you and asked you and never once... You could never... have brought him here. No. Oh, Dad, you really should listen to some of the stupid things you say. No, there's no need to... Look, I couldn't bring him here. She wouldn't let him in the house. No, I wouldn't. I wanted you to meet him. Dear God, he's a man I love. Love. Someone loves me. Wants me. Yes. Wants to look after me. The plenty of young. This young man, the rest of his life, wants to take care of me. It won't work. Look, it isn't so much we won't beat him. Your mother says. Oh, that... I know what she says. I know. Look at her. Some boy from round here. Yeah, some white boy. Wasn't good enough for you. Black, white. What difference does it make? For pity's sake. You'll find out. Look, he loves me. Wait. That's all I say. Wait. I love him. I want to be with him. I want to live with yes, him. Yes, you found something you like and you're going to keep it. Whatever happens to us, aren't you? Whatever people think about us. What can people think about you? What in the name of sweet you heaven? You have can... found something satisfies you. Mother. Really satisfies you. Oh, you stupid, stupid. Teddy, don't I've never slept with Leonard. Teddy, don't Oh, shut up. Oh, yes, you see. I've never slept with Leonard. I would very likely if he asked me to. That's the sort of girl... He loves me. Our daughter. He wants to look after me. One day, mark my word. He's not an animal. You'll come back to us. Oh, Sarah, leave the girl alone. You'll beg us. No. On your knees, you'll beg us. Oh, no. Forgive me. I'll never ask you for anything again the whole of my life. One day. Look, can't we be reasonable? Can't we talk this... I thought you'd come, Dad. I knew she wouldn't. She wouldn't cross the road to pick me up if I was bleeding, dying, dead. Marry this man, you might as well be dead. But I thought... I would have gone. You loved me. I wanted to go. I thought you'd want to see me married. I'll eat it. Now I've cooked it for you, at least eat it before it gets cold. I wanted to go. What are you talking about? Terry's wedding. I would have gone. I didn't stop you. You wouldn't come with me. If you'd wanted to go, you'd have gone. Mm, that's easy to say. That's true. I wanted to go for Terry. I wanted to do it for her. You'd do anything for Terry? Yes. Yes, I would. Liar! Hmm? You ruined that girl. Terry ruined Terry? Letting her think... Well, go on, say it. Say what you mean. All her life. You let her think you could do anything. All she had to do was ask. Well, isn't that natural? Only natural? If it's a lie! All right, I couldn't stop the sun in the sky. I just couldn't stop the girl at school who used to bully her. School? You couldn't stop the man who... 10,000 little things. Things that matter. Man? What man? What do you mean? There was a man stopped her. She was coming home from school. He... exposed it. She didn't tell me about that. It was ten years before she told me. And then she was angry. She used it against me, attacking Well, nobody can stop. I you mean, You made her think you could. You told she's her... She's only a child. Anything you do, anything that happens, I heard you. Is that wrong? Is that what you're saying? Wrong to tell come a child that... Come talk to me. I'll understand. I'll help you. How many times did she come to you? Well, when she was a baby, she When was... she was a woman. She needed you. You wouldn't let her need me. You made her think every time you... You didn't tell her about pain. You said, don't worry, baby, daddy will take it away. You didn't tell her about death. You said, nobody dies, well, what was they I go supposed to heaven. To tell her? How could you I didn't know? tell her about heaven. You sent her to Sunday school. I said what my father said. You love her. Yes. Oh, I know you love her. More than more, I love her. And the things she does, you blame me. She hurts you and you blame me. I made her. It isn't my fault. When she hurts you, it isn't my fault. It isn't mine? No. Is that what you're saying? No. No, I'm not. Ted, I've... 
sat by half my life and let her... It isn't my fault. Everything that happened... You can't If I'd talked to her, if I could have talked oh, to her... What's the point? There's no point. She won't come back. You want to blame me? She's gone. I tried and tried with that you girl. You can't have her. I wanted to help her. You can't live with her. I can't expect you to believe her. Even in memories, you can't... She isn't coming back. She isn't coming back. Me. Ted, you have to live with me. She told you... All and you live with years. Alan. Is that the <laughs> idea? You'd no. like that. He wouldn't. Alan's going away too. Hurt you. We can't, either one of us. You can stop him. I don't want to stop him. You stop me. Every chance I ever got. Oh, you're happy enough where you are. I think it's right for Alan taking this job. We got enough money. We got a home. It's a wonderful opportunity. Our children. He'll get on. You want him to get on. He's bright. He should get on. He won't be happy if he doesn't. Did you think in that job? Did you ever think? Was I happy? You stayed in that job because you wanted to stay there. It suited you. It was nothing. Pieces of paper and ticking them and passing them to Mr. Collingham. It was nothing. You wanted to stay there. How do you know what I wanted? I've lived with you 36 years. You don't. I want you don't have the faintest idea. The job suited it you. It was nothing. If you wanted Every to get on... Every chance I if got. If you'd come to me... Oh, yes. ...told me... What? What could I say? A house, two children, barely making both ends meet. If you'd said to me, I want to chuck it, I want to start again, I want to go... Oh, I don't know, anywhere. Australia. I would have packed up, I would have gone with you. I know, anywhere. Yes. Now. Too late. I remember my mother was frightened sick of my father. I remember. Perhaps one day I heard them talking. you'll know. I walked into the room and I saw my father hit my mother across the face. They were quarreling. I don't know what it was all about. He hit her. And she started to cry, and I picked up a knife and pushed it into his stomach, deep into his stomach, low. No, I didn't, of course I didn't. Children don't murder their parents. You don't mind if I have a cigarette now? Do you? She was so frightened of him. She used to hide me away when he was in the house. He never saw me, except when he sent for me, of course. Twice a year, once on my birthday and once at Christmas. It was a long time ago. Things have changed. Since then, changed for the better. I used to see my children almost every day. We used to go on picnics together. You do blame me. One day I was crying. It wasn't anything important. I think I must have cut myself. It was something quite trivial, but I was crying. My mother put her hand over my mouth so that he wouldn't hear, so that he wouldn't be angry. Children shouldn't cry, shouldn't be hurt to be crying. I nearly suffocated. I love my father. You blame me for everything. I respected him. He was a man you could respect. I'm sorry. You don't mind if Alan goes to Australia? Why should you? I think I'll go to bed. Nothing I want to see on the telly tonight, is there? Alan, Ellen, the children, let them go to Australia. Let them stay there two years, three, five, ten. You're still young. 
You'll be here when they get back. You'll be alive. I won't. I'll be dead. I hate you. Do you know that? Not for anything you've done, just for being younger. For having more years to live. You will be alive when I'm dead. I don't want to die. Ted. I don't go out anymore. You don't know why. You think, oh, he's getting old. Stupid. He can't take things in anymore. I hate everyone. Yes, almost everyone I see, Sarah, I hate them. They'll be here, they'll be alive when I'm dead. In the earth. Rotting. Till death do us part. I always thought, if I thought about it, and I thought about it, everyone will die before I die. I'll live forever. I've got to, because I'm so frightened to die. Isn't that silly? An old man like me, why should I want to stay alive? What is the left? What can I do? I didn't know. You didn't think. I've got nothing left, Sarah, just living. You'll still be living when I'm dead. Then don't stay down here all night. You've had a tiring day. Yes, of course I like it. Isn't it the most beautiful dress you've ever seen, isn't it? Oh, it's the most beautiful dress in the world. Nobody, nobody... Terry, not so loud. ...ever had such a beautiful dress. No, they didn't. Did they? I never saw such a beautiful dress, such a beautiful girl, ever in my whole life. I'm so happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you. Why can't it always be parties and presents and fun? Daddy, why? I love you too. We'll always be happy. Happy, happy, happy. Always and always. Always and always. World without end. Show them the big stick. Adam knows, Master. That's what they understand. Tears afterwards. Bound to be tears. Gotta make you feel. You know. <laughs> That's what they want. That's what they expect. Show them the big stick. Such a beautiful girl. Will you be gentle with me? One day, the princess, only she was the queen now, of course. She'd been the queen for many, many years. And beautiful? Oh, she was beautiful, still very beautiful. But she was old. And her family came to see her. Her children, her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. And they stood round her bed. Slowly, she opened her eyes to look at them. She's asleep, Ted. No need to go on. She opened her eyes to look at You'll them. You'll only wake her up again. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's where it is. Sarah, why didn't I think? I know where it is. I know where it's got to. Sarah, I know where the photograph is. Hello. 
There's a case in the attic. Sarah! I don't know why I didn't think... Sarah! Don't turn away.